School budgets are tight. The latest survey reports that teachers spend around $500 of their own money on their classrooms. It's important for our teachers to come, or all teachers, to come to an in-service like this because I'm giving them lessons that they can take directly back to the classroom. So they're starting the year off with seven, eight, ten different lessons that they can use. But not only that, but they can use it as inspiration. They can modify them, they can change them, they can use them for younger children, for older children. And we're using supplies like paint chips and newspaper and cardboard and recycled materials because budgets are an issue for everyone. And especially, you know, as times get tougher, these are things that we can we can get from home, we can get cheap, we can get donated. So why not use the things that we have at hand? All right, so we, in this, at the workshop here today, we've been working on a magazine bowl, which all you need is magazine pages, you need tape, as well as you just need to use your hands really well to make tights. You start with a strip, curl up into a little circle, and you keep wrapping it. And then you use a Mod Podge afterwards, and it's, you can use it as like an everyday thing for a home. And little kids can do this as well, which is really neat. Yes, I like. No, and I said I Um, I love computer art, and I love creating things on the computer. And as as we go to that, we have to remember that we still we still need to use our hands. Kids need to have that the motor skills and the coordination and and they you can't take anything away from a kid from sticking their hands into something they might complain about being messy but they absolutely love it and those are the experiences that they're going to remember for the rest of their lives so it's important to cut and paste and glue and you know they might not ever do that again when they're adults so much but at least they have the ability and it helps them creatively think through a problem if you've got a piece of paper and you've got to get it from point A to point B, how are you going to do it? It helps them think through a problem. And those are problem solving skills that they're not going to learn on a computer. For more information about this story and others, visit us at hcde-texas.org. And for our HCDE workshop registration page, visit us at wms.hcde-texas.org.